Over the last half century, the easternmost team in Section 6 has built an incredible foundation of tradition. The 2022 Albion Purple Eagles have the chance to add their own impressive chapter to their football history books. After starting the season with back-to-back -back losses, second-year head coach David Scripp has empowered his team, which has won their last four contests. I think that was one of the most proudest things for me is to be able to look out on the field and know that my kids are going to give 100% no matter what situation that we're in. Giving 100% every game so far this season are the Jones brothers. Seniors Amari and Javon have combined for 12 touchdowns on the ground and through the air for the Purple Eagles this year. You know, I can rely on all my boys, but my brother is just different. Like you say, growing up together, you know, just having that, uh, that chemistry together that, you know, it's unreal, it's different. A three-year offensive lineman at the University at Buffalo, head coach Scripp brings with him the knowledge he learned at the Division I level. I think one of the biggest things is just uh, believing in each other. Um, one of our big things we used to say up there is believe in each other, and I think that's uh, one thing that these kids, I try to instill in these kids, even when they're moments that where we're down or we're facing adversity, to believe in each other and a brotherhood and, and bringing that to the football field and, and, and all over. The final road game of the 2022 season brings the Purple Eagles to East Aurora High School, where they face off with a team looking for just their second win on the regular season. For us to understand that a record doesn't define a team, because we were in that situation too. People could have looked at us at 0-2 um, to start out the year and, and counted us out. And, um, you know, just to understand that's, that's a little edge for them. When a team has nothing to lose per se and a team has everything to lose, it's, it's a lot. In his sixth season on Center Street in East Aurora, head coach John Swinich has used a fall riddled with injuries to key players to embrace what makes coaching at the high school level so important. Um, as long as you do everything you can to make them successful, then, then I think that that's a win, you know, no matter what your record is. Sometimes that record, like this year with our injuries, our record doesn't reflect the heart and the, and the, the ability we have. But as long as they leave having a good experience, and we do our job to, to build them up and make them you know, good, decent young men, and I think that we did our job. With senior receiver Lux Fiegel and lead power back Brady Wiscup suffering season-ending injuries, third-year starting quarterback Max Fryer has gotten to see the next generation of Blue Devils step up in their vacancy. Yeah, I definitely don't think that our record uh, really shows what this team has. East Aurora's a bright future, I think we're taking strides towards better things, for sure. In the past, maybe we would have put guys in and we would have been a little concerned if they could have competed, but these guys have shown us that no matter what, they can compete, and so we're, we're excited. We're, we're excited to, to see how they finish this season and then to get them ready for next season when that starts again for us. Prior to Thursday night's matchup with the Purple Eagles, the graduating class of 2023 will be honored before kickoff, which includes East Aurora senior Max Fryer, who will make his final start at home in his three-year varsity career. They do a lot of stuff similar to us, so I think it's, I think it's gonna be a, a good battle. We've had some close games, some tough losses, and uh, look forward to finishing the, the year strong. Week seven of Thursday Night Football, it's the Albion Purple Eagles and the East Aurora Holland Blue Devils coming up on Western New York Athletics.